bit better every season as they've gone on as well. Yeah. So, we'll see if that continues here in week three of season eight. We'll start with the best of five. Veloce in the blue, reciprocity in the orange, and Freaks going to start out on offense and just okay. get a great, uh, very clean, easy first goal. This game is incredibly easy. Look at this. Just, just hit the ball one time. There you go. That's all it takes to score, folks. Yeah, Fruity just got a little too far forward, and yeah. That's, uh, it was, uh, what was it? Chassette went for uh, to follow up on the kickoff. Fair didn't get it. Fruity, last man forward, just didn't get there. So, poor start, to say the least. Well, the Russ Prosty gets to play offense here on the following kickoff. Flame has other ideas, neutralizes things in the midfield. Now here comes Cassio. Freaky getting a bit bumped. A double coming on defense. Flame over to Cassio. Great passing option. It's onto the backboard. Where's Freaky? Here he comes for the shot. And that's two go. goals, punishing the double commit. Veloce's up. All right, got to be impressed with the early pressure. Nice vision over to Cassio. Solid touch off the undefended wall. And Chassette, maybe a little too passive with his approach. Didn't cut that ball down as much as he could have. And Freaky, quick to it. Nice score. I love the decision to pass there. Not just to go for the straight shot. Loche, early lead in game one. Rudy up over the top of one. Flame will challenge him. Gets it back to Freaky in the midfield. Who plays it across the field to Cassio? Now off the wall. Two players in the box. Cassio looks for demolitions. Doesn't find anything. Flame over to the side now. And Cassio has been a pretty big benefit to this Loche team this season. He's definitely had a couple of awesome days in the pitch. He's starting off here with two big assists, so... Reciprocity could be in for some trouble. Great challenge for Freaky. Reciprocity really haven't had any offense all game. Yeah, Freaky's been shooting well as that shot was just wide. Cassio looking for Fruity. He'll bump him in the midfield, open up some space, but Fair gets in the way. Now Flame will look to continue this pressure. 3.36 left to go. Wins another one on the wall. Fruity and Nets going to have to make the play, and he does. Freaky now into the corner. Back onto the backboard once more. Flames airborne for the shot. Off the crossbar and out. Cassio rotates back to pick this ball up. So far, it has been an all Veloce game. Very helpful pinch there for Reciprocity as well. Beat the midfield line. And this is really their first opportunity on Reciprocity's part to stay on offense here and get some pressure going and maybe find a shot on net. Flame under one. Ferris got control. They look for the bumps in net, but Freaky's got the challenge. Oh no, bumps on the defensive side. It looks like the team bumps will be survived by Veloce and we'll get to the ball back to midfield. Fruity now up. Past one. Wins the challenge against Freaky, but now out of boost. So we'll have to get this out of his corner. Tries to fake flame, but oh. he doesn't fall for it. Now Farah off the corner. Here's Freaky. Wins the challenge against him as well, but no one's there to make the shot. He gets the demolition on the Casio and the boost grab. Here comes the rest of Veloce. They've got the clear long ways down the field in halftime. They're still up by two. Nice block from Cassio there. Really kills a lot of that pressure that Reciprocity had built up. And Flame had a couple of nice challenges coming out of his own half. He wins the ball here in the midfield, too. Oh, the pass is there, and Freaky's got the shot. A quick one, two, and Veloce's up by three. Hat trick for Freaky and Flame. Nice job digging this out of the corner, and a nice quick flick out into the midfield. And support there, able to beat the defense, and Flame has been one of my favorite players for a long time. It's good to see him back in the RLCS. Always wanted to see if he could keep that uh, spark, what I thought made him such a potent player. He's very quick. Shaw set on the far side. Pretty following behind him with two minutes left to go. Cassio now up on the edge. No boost to his name. Farrell pick up all control in the corner, but Freaky takes it off of his hood. Now Shaw set back to midfield. Flame. Demolished, opens up a bit of space for reciprocity, but Cassio's right there. And Cassio's reading the game great right now. I mean, Fruity jumped, and Cassio immediately head up the wall before he even gave away where he was going. Oh, Shaw set with a shot, but Cassio's got it saved in the box. Now playing back out, Cassio's up for it already. Gets it into the corner, bounces dangerously in front of the net, but Shaw set's got it, and no one from Peloche was in position to shoot. So set in the corner in an awkward spot. Farrah comes in to try and keep the pressure on. Freaky will end up getting the job done, but Freaky now back to midfield. Shaw set in towards the box. Cassio to the edge. 118 on the clock. Reciprocity yet to get on the board. A single goal would help swing momentum a little bit back to neutral. As game one is starting to get out of hand. 
starting to his right. Got out of hand early with that kickoff goal. And great control by Cassio. Oh, man. He has been the, just the biggest nuisance for reciprocity. On the top, Cassio will fly back in. Play some backboard defense on the retreat. 48 seconds remaining, down by three. It's looking like a Veloce game pretty cleanly. Fair will look for a shot here again. Any goal would have, I mean, there's, there's always still the possibility with 30 seconds left that they score three, but any goal at this point, I feel like it's mostly just a morale booster. Get things back on, make them not be shut out in the first game yeah. of the week. Shaw set oh, past one. There's Cassio with a nice shot over the top. Shaw set in his corner. Dump it back to midfield. Fair is there, passing in the midfield. No one home. 15 seconds left the game. It's all but protocol at this point. I like what I've seen from Veloce, especially that third goal to really solidify the lead. The defense really holding on as well here in the final moments. Yeah, that triple flame. As the time will expire. Three to nothing. Assuming this hits the ground. They've kept it up. They might get one. Three, maybe. Look at Chasse. Yeah, no boost. Pressure Cassio's off. like, no, get out of here. Ball to the other end. Flame. Oh, Does get him back. On the other end. Oh, <laughs> look for it. Ball is staying alive. Here's yes. Ricky with the final shot. Oh, wait, Cassio. Last attempt, just put it into the ground. Yes, no. Oh, no, uh, not enough. Nice respect of... Uh, this is great. Rule zero, golden, baby. Your golden rule, yes. Just keeping this ball alive for a long time. No! Almost got it. <laughs> oh, oh okay. finally, yeah. It's too okay. Don't worry. You guys, you guys get to keep playing in 60 seconds. It'll be just fine. 3-0 for Voloche in game number one. And that, that third goal they put in, the pass from Flame out of the corner was... Yeah. He beat the first defender, and then and then the pass into the box was is pretty aggressive. The thing is, is I don't even feel that Chalcet, I believe, was on the goal line, needs to worry about that shot because Freaky has to be so aggressively positioned to take it, to get up on him here, as we'll see a replay of it. He's got the first one beat, but that, that shot is moving so quickly that unless Freaky is right there, they're not going to score. So I don't feel like it's necessarily Chalcet's fault, but that's the thing I love about this goal. Freaky having the confidence like, no, Flame's going to get this. I'm going to crash the box. I'm going to make this happen. It's a very kind of high risk, high reward situation, and they got the reward. And it's also how you read the challenges the first match. Chalcet's expecting his teammate to at least get a piece of the ball. So you can see him rotating in towards the near post. So whoever went for that challenge in the first place definitely should have read the, the ball being on the left side of Flame's car. And it's very likely a flick forward. It's not going to be on target because there's no way you can get the ball on target coming out of that corner. So hmm. it was just a, a multitude of things. Chasset, it's definitely not Chasset's fault. I mean, he was just yeah. making his teammates' plays. It was a great play from Flame, but overall, the biggest thing was I, I thought Cassio had an awesome game. I mean, if, if reciprocity want to win, you got to take better care of where you're hitting the ball because mm. Cassio was looking at you guys and being like, great, this is going to happen, mm. and, and he is just stopping everything. So yeah. reciprocity, take good care of where you place the ball because they're on you right now. They're a little bit too readable, you yeah. could say. That, uh, so Cassio's definitely got them, and Flame is playing well. Freaky's shooting on target. Freaky's biggest nemesis has always been the crossbar. Hmm. Shot so well. Same for reciprocity. <laughs> it's true. It's battle of the woodwork. As Freaky looks for the pass to his teammates, Sean will challenge him. Cassio locked in this one. Here's Flame. Over the edge. And you're really just looking in this game for reciprocity to at least prove that they can break out of their own half and get some possession. Because they really didn't get any of it until the very end of game one. Yeah, same to the midfield. Passes continue to go backwards. Is this shot on it? It is. Wow. Freaky from the corner on kind of a poor touch from reciprocity. They'll take the lead again. Yeah, Chasset didn't quite read that ball very well. Ends up putting it off his own backboard. Fruity trying his best, but Freaky's just positioned a lot better. Much easier play to make for him. Drills it to the left side. Nice shot. 4.22 on the clock. Best kickoff for Reciprocity yet. Did they get it into a goal? They sure do. Man, Flame was just completely flat-footed. Reciprocity's on the board. Yeah, follow-up from Freaky over his head. Tries to push Farah off the ball. That's a great idea, but Flame definitely caught too far off the line, and that's just a strong shot from Farah to the top of the net. I'll tie the game up, take advantage of some kickoff mistakes. Now on the far side, Cassio's going to try and do the same, but... Rudy is able to recover the situation. Chalset gets a pass him, and now Farah back to Chalset, looking for the go-ahead goal. Flames got the block, and they'll survive for now. Cassio with the counterattack shot, but it's slow and short. Here comes Flame. Chalset to the corner for a second touch. Freaky will break it up and get in front of Fruity as well. 
Fair three to one. Ricky passed him. Now she'll set. With the effort, Cassio over to Freaky. Pass back towards Cassio and into the midfield, but Fruity will make first contact. Now Flame on the follow-up. Fruity's touch was kind of lofted high. The pressure remains for Veloce. 3.30 left to go. A little bit of space. Cassio again. I've been on his camera just watching him play the game, and that's a great interception. Ooh. Shot set. Strong on target, but Flame already there. Is freaky out of his net. Down the field, Fair will just try to buy time, but Flame takes it away from him into the corner. Chassette now has to make contact. He's got it very high over the top of Farah. Or Fre Freaky, rather. There is Frame, Flame, Fruity, Farah, freaky. and Freaky all on the pitch <laughs> at the same time. A lot of F's is Fruity. Oh. We'll take a shot past Flame and put in a second goal. Strong shot here, Farah. Under no pressure. And Freaky finally just can't close the distance enough. That's a, just a nice bit of shooting from Fruity because it's it's so easy to let that ball travel to you and let it come off your nose. Yeah. But Fruity cuts in, goes and gets it, takes it away from the defense. That was that was fair to Fruity to beat Freaky in flame. Yeah. <laughs> just wish it was the fourth goal. It'll make me happy. It's all set now. Advancing on the following kickoff, Freaky. Got it past the back line. Can he get it on target? Really oh. difficult angle to hit there. Doesn't quite tuck it. Now Cassio looking to extend the play. Flame will fall back. And Freaky now picking it up. Punt high. Fruity's got it red. Flame through one. The pass in midfield. Cassio kind of outreaches. Shaw set. Look for the counter. Now Farah onto the backboard. Coming on out. Flames there. Through one. Now moving forward with Freaky. They've got Fruity in the net. It's across the box, and Cassio is able to tuck it in. All right. Fruity is not quite positioned well enough, and they crash the box again, and it works. Yeah, that challenge from Chassette initially not really lined up well. Fruity just trying to follow the play back as best he can. Unfortunately, it's a great tip out of the corner. He gets that second skip. He goes right over his head, and Fruity just can't handle the counterattack. Veloce, tie up game two. They took the winning game one, and they're looking for it here in the second one as well. Two demolitions from Chalcette. Now Freddy looking for the ceiling shot. Cassio's got the block. Follow up Farah hits the woodwork, and Freaky will find the clear. Chalcette, not solid contact here. Cassio and Freaky both in. A difficult shot to read. Oh, they nearly find the bounce, too. 157 left to go. Freaky's got to set up Flames Airborne. Got it past two defenders. It's just Farah. Here comes Cassio for the final shot. Freaky got back on the ground, and he'll make the save off to the edge. Flame and Freaky now in the back. They're definitely scrambling on the defensive half if you're on reciprocity. I mean, some breakdowns in communication, but a little bit of space here for Chassette. Can't beat out Freaky, though. Here comes Cassio, up against Fruity in the net. Makes the play off the crossbar. Now Flame lofting it high. Freaky, over the top of one. Here's Cassio. Has it high in the air. Looks like... Reciprocity will be able to hold on to control. Reciprocity looks slow. They're getting outpaced by Veloce right now. 110 left to go. They're going to have to pick it up. Right now, a tie game. Got to find at least one more goal. They look for the bumps on the goalies. Cassio gets away from them, but actually not able to recover. Freaky Flame have to bail him out. That's all three defenders out of net. Shaw set up. Here comes Fair for the shot, and he'll put it in. Reciprocity takes the lead. I say they look slow, and then they finally have a little bit of space to work with. Steal a challenge. Freaky can't get up the wall, and that is a tough ball to handle. And a great job from Farah going low in the net. If it gets saved, it gets saved. Immediate problem is the guy right in your face. Excellent shot. Enabled by some overcommitment on defense. Now she'll set with an attempt to set up his teammates. Here's Freaky all the way back down. Cassio pressures the corner as well with Freaky as well. Offensive, bit of a double commit. Very tight position there in the corner. Freaky through one, Flame. He looks for a boost, not finding anything. Cassio gets beat to the ball. Now Fruity and Chalset able to work this back down. Flame Ooh. not going to be in position again. Flame has struggled with these reads on the goal line. This is the second time he's caught flat-footed here in this game. Yeah, he definitely gets the boost in the corner, and that's a classic 1v1 shot. I mean, you grab the boost in the corner, you know the guy's coming at you with the dribble from the same side, and your instinct is always to slow down as you come into your near post because you want to give yourself time to react if they try and shoot it behind you. And Chassette notices that and just shoots it far post, so very well done from Chassette. 
Reciprocity give themselves a two gold buffer here with 15 seconds left. That should be enough to tie up the series. As Freaky will look to dribble it out of his corner. Gets it underneath Farah, the flame. Try to get it back to him. Freaky has the pass to nobody in the midfield. No one should all but do it. Reciprocity light it up in the final few moments. There's a few mistakes they were able to capitalize on. And they'll take the win and tie the series. Almost, get Almost got one. <laughs> I thought maybe that was going to find its way into the back of the net, but much better game from Reciprocity, but still a little bit afraid here for Reciprocity going into game three. Despite them winning this one, I still feel like Veloce overall playing the better game. They had a couple of really nice counterattacks, and they definitely deserve the credit for that. But at the same time, Reciprocity. I'm liking the approach to the challenges a lot more on Veloce's side. Yeah, Veloce, uh, it's, this seemed to be the same. Like, nothing really changed all that much between games one and two. The only difference, and this wasn't, it, it, it's, it's kind of a cherry-picking stance to take, but, like, flame on, flame on the goal. The, the, the two times flat-footed, that, that final shot the, mm -hmm. on the fourth goal, but also the very first one on the kickoff. A difficult situation, but I, I did, like it's it's those small decisions, and maybe that maybe he was more set up. Maybe those more to those two situations that I didn't see on the sides. But the fact that he wasn't even in there, the, he wasn't. He was just literally like, "I've lost this. Well, just the, take the, the shot." The first one was definitely a, "I've lost this." Mm -hmm. Like you, you're caught too far forward, and you see the strong shot towards the top of the net. I mean, all right, fine. The second one is, is definitely that's just great execution from Chasset because you could take literally any player from RLCS mm -hmm. and put them in that same situation. And you're going to see most of them like slow down as they come out of that corner and, and see the 1v1 on the dribble. They yeah. will hit the brakes because they know yeah. if you start diving across to cover the big part of the net, people will take their time and just let you jump and shoot right behind you. So it's flame. That was, that was as best he could do. It well, was yeah, all on shot set to exit. It, it, it is a shooter's advantage situation yeah. where they have the options. You have to react. And so he's just doing his best to react. But it it, it, it just it looks like he didn't react at all because his yeah. reaction, he knew. He, like, there was no point in jumping. He's going to miss anyway. So he just kind of stops. But I don't know. Maybe that the hustle mentality. I mean, it's like you sport. could dive at it. I'm like, just dive. If like, you miss, sure. it's fine. Go for it. You know, dive. Just, just just try. It's not like you're actually gonna hurt yourself. So I, I I I wonder like is there is there a better response other than just playing cleaner, not allowing those shots to materialize in the first place? Like what do they need to do? Well, to that reciprocity. I do believe that goal stemmed from uh, it was a strong backboard clear. I'm pretty sure Cassio actually did a really nice job putting the pressure on because I remember he jumped towards the back wall. I think it was Fruity who got around the opposite side of the ball and tipped it down, and then it was the big clear up field. Um, so I think it was just a nice job because Cassio was keeping the pressure up. He was doing great. Yeah. But unfortunately, I mean, Reciprocity just had a great counterattack there. They, they got did. the ball to shot set in open space. They, they had a few of them there at the end to secure that game. And we yeah. are, like, uh, resolving a technical issue before we get into game three. And Reciprocity, they got shut out in game number one, gave up three goals, but then bounced back here with four of their own, only allowing two. And they got the they got the early kickoff goal here in this game. So I feel like that's a, a yeah, good response. The, the equalizer, yeah. Yeah, because uh, Veloce was able to find the, uh, the kickoff goal right at the beginning of game number one. It's nice to be able to kind of show, like, hey, we, we still have these these quick plays at the beginning as well. And you uh, can see that kickoff actually from, from game one. Actually, this was a, a phenomenal game one from Veloce. Always quick to the ball. Those That was that speed, that challenges the, that were so tough for Reciprocity to deal with. And that's just that poor challenge right there. And Shasset just gets caught out expecting his teammate to get any piece of it. And this game two still felt like the speed was there. And you can see it opening up, but this was a big one. Getting it right back on the kickoff, Farah handling it, and there you see Flame pushing forward because he thinks his teammate's going to get that bump. So he starts pushing forward, and Farah recovers and just beats him. And a really important goal for Reciprocity as well, as they were had been scored on four times and not gotten any of them. The first goal that your team scores in the series is always going to be important, especially when you've been shut out the game before. Reciprocity able to piece that one together in a nice offensive push. The thing I like from both teams right now, and this I think is a, a sign of... RLCS caliber teams is the ability to consistently and always punish mistakes that can lead to goals. Both teams yeah. right now are, oh, you made a mistake? All right, well, we're going to find a way to make sure we can use that advantage and get that goal in. That is that is 
genuinely one of the biggest differences between the RLCS caliber teams and everybody else. Oh, yeah. And you make sure that you never let the free ones go. Yeah, and, and it's like even, even that last dribble play where Fruity gets the clear off the wall and passes it to Chassette. They catch Veloce two men too far forward. You leave the guy in the one-on-one. -on -one. That's still not a gimme chance, mm. but it is a great goal-scoring opportunity at the RLCS level, and it is 100% on the team with that advantage to take advantage of it. And Chassette did a great job. I mean, Flame, try as hard as you want. I mean, you, you get the guy with a shot to the far post coming out of the corner, you're toast. Yeah, it's yeah. Just, and, what can you do? And, I mean, I, I, I like to – I brought up those two goals because they're the two where it's like, oh, he was on the goal line, why yeah. didn't he move? But there were two other goals that also got scored that were just <laughs> as important. <laughs> and, and both of those – at least one of those happened. There was a, a double commit in net that kind of – created some chaos that was yeah. a, a, eventually resulted in a goal for reciprocity. So, again, being able to make sure you capitalize on the mistakes, do not allow any free goals to go. I think that like that's some of the some of the things that create the most question marks around the teams that are, you know, kind of the, the, the bottom five teams of both regions right now, both North America and Europe. The, the biggest question I have is when I see those free goals, those, those not free, but those those opportunities when Quality you should be able, you have so much advantage and they still don't manage to put it in the net. Those are the things that make me question these teams. And I feel like it's the sort of thing that makes, you know, people like on the desk like Gibbs have questions about Veloce. If, oh, yeah. if they're able to do this, if they're able to punish reciprocity's mistakes, I feel like there's a conversation where we start putting them into that same category with Vitality. It's, it's definitely... Uh uh, the hallmark of a good team because you know every team in the RLCS they're going to be decent enough on defense obviously sometimes we rag on them and it's like oh you allow too many shots per game and blah 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 but there's still a reason you you are one of the eight best teams yeah. in your region yeah. you're pretty good and so you know that even if this team is just so good on offense and they can punish you for it that is half the battle because at the end of the day you can play good defense all you want but you got to be able to score goals. And Veloce have absolutely done that here versus Reciprocity. Well, I believe we are ready to get into game three, so we will do so. The series tied up at one apiece, guaranteed at least a game four. Let's see who gets the scoring started here as we move on to Manfield Knight. Flame up underneath one, Freaky onto the backboard, Cassio up for the shot, and Farah beats him to the ball. Get it all the way down into the Veloce half. And I will be curious to see if Veloce continue to take this real aggressive push whenever they catch reciprocity on their own half. Like right here, they just ran into each other. How much space did they take? Through two. Oh, why did Flame run? Oh, you just gave the ball right back. He's just letting them have control. And a double commit here on defense. This one should result in a goal. Fair is up for it. Cassio beats him to it, though. An important punish, An important collapse to make sure that this goal doesn't occur for reciprocity. Now Shaw set into the corner, Farah behind him. And a clear comes through for Flame. Reciprocity was able to hold on to ball control for a bit there, but not quite able to actually punish that double commit. Yeah, it really was Shaw set just trying to hang on to the ball after his teammate straight missed. It was really just, okay, let's make sure he has a few moments to recover. And that's a big miss from Freaky. Shaw set trying to oh. slow it down, and Cassio doesn't let him do anything crazy. He just got right in his face. Took it off his hood. Man, Cassio reaching this ball. He only had 18 boost. He was on the ground and actually set up a scoring opportunity. Here comes Freaky for a final shot. Doesn't make contact with the defense. Just all panicked up here from Reciprocity. Yeah. We'll see if they can push this one all the way into the corner. There's one win up and out against Josette. He'll get the touch, but here's Cassio now back into the corner. Doesn't win the challenge against Farah, though. And we'll keep this ball off to the side. Reciprocity definitely feeling some kind of pressure from Veloce because they really are all over each other. Here on the back wall, they both Again. go up it, and now they have to deal with this touch towards the wall because they double committed. Fruity has to cover up. Chassette coming out of the net. Very fortunate Cassio didn't take a better line to that ball. And we were talking about both teams punishing mistakes during that break. Both teams have made defensive mistakes, and neither has been able to punish here in Game 3. We're still scoreless. Pretty through one. Now she'll set lofted this in front of his own net. Farah will just try to stall this out. As all of Loche falls back, Freaky up to flame, finds his teammate. The ball comes back down and in, but Cassio didn't advance. He actually falls all the way back. Now, back up. Midfield control. Reciprocity. Freak center one. Cassio demolishing his own net. The challenge is good from Reciprocity. Shalsek will try to win this one as well. He's got it up now, looking for Fair. The back pass. Here's the shot. Back up to Chassette. Oh, Nearly found man. the shot. Flame gets this one away. 
And that one would have been pretty, but they're not done yet. Late in front, Chassette, he's doing a great job getting in front of challenges. He knows Veloce is trying to approach these balls and push them away. So he's taking a bit more of a delayed challenge and pushing them out to the side and beating the man that way. Sneaks through for Veloce, though. Nice clear from Cassio. Cassio beats one. Farah with attempt here's Freaky's pass into Flame. Shot is into the corner. Not able to get it on target at all. 153 left to go. This game slipping away. No one finding the back of the net. And it's really reciprocity. Being controlling pace of play here. A little too far away, though. Trying to apply pressure, but it feels a little too spaced out. Nice takeaway from Chassette. Ball lopped in the midfield. Here's Fair with a shot towards the goal. Cassio's got the save. Flame will move out to try and extend the play. Rudy now onto the backboard. Chassette's nowhere to be seen. Flame will pinch it off the wall. Chassette now in the backfield. He'll look up for Fair. They'll look for a similar play. So where they hit just a moment ago. It's not going to work out again. 1-11 on the clock. Approaching the final minute. Neither team oh, on the board. Challenge. Both looking for the go-ahead game here to gain match point. Welcome touch from Freaky to at least get them a little bit of breathing room on their own half, and now they can finally start to work their way out. Great bumps from Fruity, though. Forces Veloce back, and now they have to fight for possession again. Cassio beating one. Flame looking for this, not gonna happen. Fruity onto the backboard, Freaky up, and he wins the challenge all the way to the corner. Cassio and Freaky now advancing across midfield. Oh, Fair without dear. much of a touch. Fruity will bail him, gets a pinch all the way to the corner. On the far side, Flame will try to carry it out. The ball will stay in the midfield area. 30 seconds remaining. Looks like maybe a mistake on defense will be what spells defeat here for one of these teams. Fair up the pass to Fruity. Cassio and another player challenge. It's just Flame on the goal line. Good shot from Flame from the corner, not going to work out. A really nice job there from Veloce. Actually, oh, get him on the counterattack. Chassette, oh. huge save, and Fruity. We'll have to pinch the ball out and thought maybe Veloce was going to play defense all game and then score with eight seconds, but they break down. What a stop to make sure that ball did not roll into the goal. It just stopped dead in its tracks. And now we're in overtime. Game three. She'll set Lofton in the midfield. None of his team's there. Flame will have this one for free. Down to the corner. Fruity doesn't make contact. Flames there. He'll punish and scores. 13 seconds into overtime. And Veloce have the two games. That comes from a couple of bumps on Chassette. Fruity and Farah weren't ready to have to go up and make that ball because they thought it was going to be Chassette's touch. And he got bumped off. And then Flame just takes the ball out of the corner. They miss the corner read. Farah's not ready on the goal line. And Flame will turn it in for 13 seconds. So way to weather the storm, Veloce. You earned that one. Veloce now one game away from defeating Reciprocity. Veloce got two wins in week one. People were like, I don't know. Those may, maybe they were just lucky. Maybe they're the, the best of the not top three teams. I don't know. And then they took a game off Vitality and were like, okay, that's pretty good. You know, Vitality has, <laughs> has a sweep yet this season though. And now two games on Reciprocity, one away from the win. They'll have two chances here. If Reciprocity is able to win it in game four, we'll go to game five. A nice, exciting series to start off our European Week 3. They're definitely doing well, Veloce. Love the defense that game. You got to give credit where it's due, though. Reciprocity making a lot of great challenges to keep possession in that game. Mm. And Veloce really did have to work to get that ball out of their own half for the majority of regulation. Finally, it came down to that overtime. Great bump play from Cassio. Again, dude's just been an absolute nightmare yeah. for all of Reciprocity. If anyone is reading, he is definitely reading the game the best on this entire pitch right now. I, d I still enjoyed the uh, the stop from Chaussette when uh, oh, who was pressuring him? Freaky came in on him. At the, at the <laughs> oh, the, final moment, that was a great right save. At the, right at the end of the regulation. Because you're absolutely right. Make, making a save like that, it's all dependent on momentum and then your challenge vector. Mm -hmm. And definitely holding momentum was 100% Freaky. And Chaussette coming across has to hit the dead center of the ball so he can just kill it at the exact opposite side that Freaky's got. And that was a tough save to make. But in the end, Veloce still manages to come up with the win. Now Reciprocity, here's Chaussette with an opportunity, but Cassio comes over his back shoulder, gets that one away, and now Flame looks for the extension down the far side. Freaky to pop this one high. There's Cassio looking for a challenge. Reciprocity's got it, Freaky over the top of one. Now Chaussette will leave it for Farah, all the way to the backboard. Flame off the wall. 
all set. Made an effort. Russell Prosty is able to stay on offense. Some small ball passing here from Veloce actually gets it across the midfield line. And they'll catch Rudy in an awkward position. He's really been struggling to find the clears off the walls in this series. He's let a couple go by him that his teammates weren't quite ready for. Big goals he's he's oh. out by not finding those touches. Cassio wins another one. Freaky's up for it. Takes the shot. Fruity block him at the point of contact. Now Cassio falling back down, looking for the read. Actually gets it off of one defender. Ferris just got to play it to his own corner. Now Flame looking for a challenge here. Can't find anything. So Reciprocity keeps that ball in the air. Flame on his own backboard. Back to midfield, Chalset takes a shot. Freaky has a response. Oh, unfavorable hop there oh. for reciprocity. Is that, is that just in? No, okay, it's slightly wide. Nobody was back. Cassio Shaw will not find the first goal of game four. They will have to continue to play defense here. Freaky will also get involved. Oh, and they that's get him? open. Cassio oh. gets there. No. That shot from midfield will take the lead for reciprocity. Cassio surprised here, thinking maybe Chassette goes for a touch off the wall. And oh, no. How about the one along the ground to the back post? Great shot, Chassette. 312 left to go. Reciprocity with the lead. It's freaky. Advances into the corner. Now Flames there. Looked for it. Couldn't find it. Cassio, extension into the corner. Freaky back down the flame, ball into the midfield. Cassio tries to get it back to his teammates. Fruity just to quickly adjust here to try to recover control, and he does so. Back into the corner, no one to challenge him. Cassio over the top of everybody, so aggressively positioned here for reciprocity. And will fall back on the defense. Right now, Veloce staying pretty wide and spread out. Just kind of playing counterattack. Well, I think they're playing that way because a lot of the times, Reciprocity is going for these big clears up the pitch, and they're just trying to chase it down. And having that big spread of, of the pitch can cover a lot of options. So they're definitely aware that Reciprocity is not bringing the ball down. They're just trying to launch it and oh. cover as much distance as possible. Great save from Chassette off the wall. Cassio oh. down in the middle, oh. stolen away. Freaky just demolished. Can he get back on in time? No, he cannot. He spawns in the far corner there. And that's two goals now for Reciprocity. Big win there from Chassette. And the demo on the back line definitely gives him the open net to shoot at. And then it was just a matter of execution. He nailed it. Great challenge. 2-0-3. Reciprocity with a two-goal lead. Reciprocity has been shut out in both the games they've lost. The only game that they won, they scored four goals in. Did they find more in game four. Game five starting to look likely with 150 left on the clock. Yeah. Look at Fruity keep this close. Great job, just to waste a few seconds off the clock. Even at two minutes, that's a ton of time, but. With a two-goal lead, you're feeling pretty good, and you try and take better care of the ball. Cassio looks for the pass to Freaky, but intercepted by Fruity. Now Flame looking for the solo play. Chalset has a response. Cassio out of his box. Back down to his teammate Flame. Gets it over the top of Farah. Cassio lofts it high. Freaky thinks about it, but Fruity's already airborne. Now Farah up for it as well, trying to recover the situation. Chalset demolished on the back line. Here's a pass across to Cassio. Can he find the shot? Chalset off the respawn will make the save. And Fruity. Pick it up on the far side. 106 left to go. They're defending their lead well. And the one thing about that wide positioning, though, from Veloce is that they're not really in position to assist each other. If they're all wide, it's, you kind of leave yourself only open to solo goals. I feel like they're going to need a team effort if they're going to tie this up in the final 45 seconds. Ooh, well, they could have had a chance to capitalize there off the poor clear from Reciprocity. Look at Flame getting aggressive, and Farah coming off the wall. Big save. And they are trying to close the distance, get more aggressive, because they see Reciprocity trying to keep the ball a little closer. You're absolutely right, trying to help each other out. Here comes Cassio. Freaky demolished. We'll open up some space, 24 seconds remaining. Veloce, can they find any goal and give themselves an opportunity at a buzzer beater? Rudy continues to win challenges. Reciprocity just continues over and over again. The 1v1's going their way, and that will spell the end of game four. Eight seconds left. Ball still trapped. 
the Veloce half. Nearly get a third one for the road. It's not going to happen here for Veloce. Game four is going to be all reciprocity, and we're going to go to a game five. They absolutely earned it. And off of no doubt, good save there, but yep. <laughs> for, from Veloce to close this one out. But game five, Chassette is a much deserved MVP. Yeah. I mean, yes, he scored two goals and he got two big saves, but the most valuable part of him that game was the big challenges against reciprocity coming out of uh, Veloce's midfield and Veloce's own half. He was making a lot of great touches on the ball, taking it away from Veloce, shutting down their ability to clear the ball to open space or pass the ball across. I think Chassette had a great game, not just from scoring, but from denying the opposition chances. Yeah, Chalset was named a uh, top defender during the pre-show here, and he shows up especially there in that final final minute or so. He gets demolished, comes out of the corner to make the save on the respawn immediately. Only most likely the 35-32 boost to his name there. Mm -hmm. And makes it work. And now Champions Field, where all game fives and sevens are played in the RLCS. All the names of former RLCS champions and current RLCS champions hanging in the rafters here. Every single one of these players hoping to have their name enshrined on this field at some point. And the, getting there, you got to win this game. That'll help a lot. <laughs> that is a stepping stone. The winner of this game advances to three wins on the season. Mm -hmm. So, in worst of Prosty, they might be 3-0 and oh if they're able to do that right now still undefeated. And this would be a big win for Veloce again. I mean, if they take down a team like Reciprosky, who I think is playing well, they had a bit of a slow start, no doubt, but Veloce, I mean, you're earning your paycheck here. Reciprosky is not an easy team to take down. And in this game five, it's all about Chasset or Cassio. Who makes the big challenges? And That's right it. now, it's freaky oh. denied. Vera somehow able to dive back. Rudy over to the side here for a very neutral kickoff. It looked like Veloce might have the opening goal again. Defense holds, double commit in the midfield for Veloce. I should just reposition them for offense, but Cassio actually misses, and then Freaky also leaves it just for Flame, who's gonna be low on boost after that play. Now Cassio advancing forward to demolition on the Flame, and a confusion on, from Reciprocity on the defense again. But they recover well. Now back out to midfield. A pop over the top of Chalset. Cassio looking for Freaky once more. Couldn't get it underneath Fair, but here comes Flame. Lofted to the backboard. Rudy off to the edge. Now flame up, losing the challenge to Chalset in the midfield. Oh, nice control here from Cassio, and he's through one. Rudy will have the read. Now Freaky, looking to dribble out of his corner, flips a bit early. Chalset will read it just fine. Flame plays it onto the wall. Rudy shoots, gets two defenders. Farinell on the far side, pass back in, but it's over the top of Chalset. Cassio looking for the open net, but Rudy gets back in time. Pressure still on, though. Freaky now up, flame demolished in the midfield. Cassio comes in to crash the box. Can Freaky keep this one alive? Both he and Cassio go for it. They both try to play the hero ball and nearly get the shot anyways. Here's Flame for the final touch, and he puts it in. Veloce take the lead in game five. Great pressure from Veloce, and it's all because of that one poor touch from Reciprocity back on their other half. After that, Veloce smell blood in the water. They start applying the pressure and squeeze Reciprocity out. Flame got demolished, and Cassio and Freaky's like, we'll just keep the ball over here so you can get back up and score. <laughs> Sound good? All right, great. Good game plan. See you in a few. And now looking for a second goal. Freaky puts oh, it off the corner. Flame there it is. drop it in, and that's two goals. Veloce now up in game five. Huge swing for Veloce. Freaky, wonderful touch towards the wall. You'd like it to be in, but Chasset just can't handle oh. the bounce. It's quick and over his head, and Flame right into the middle. That is a hard goal. Such a narrow window Chasset left him, and Flame finds it. 2-0 now in game five. They've shut out Reciprocity in every game they've won this series. Can they keep it up here? As another one goes on target, Ferris got the save. Where's the pressure? Here's Freaky in the corner. He picks up the boost as well. This one in the midfield, Cassio will be alone. He gets onto the backboard again. Shall set now out towards his teammate, Farah. Flame, playing into the corner. Rudy's got the read, but here's Freaky. Shot on target, shall has got the block. Cassio up to slow things down and flame underneath him. He'll look to pick up control after Fruity's touch. Here he goes. Now Farah towards the blue. There's freaky challenging. Shulset's got him beat. Now locking it. Farah up. Flame will neutralize this. Rudy with a shot from midfield. Freaky makes the save. Chasset needs to win this challenge. Oh, he missed and oh. back post. Man, 
That was a huge miss from Veloce. Ricky continuing to play solid defense here. Fun fact about Freaky, I believe the first season we ever gave out Savior of the Season, Freaky was the recipient in Europe. I believe playing on Kensa. Here comes another shot from Cassio. The defense just made no contact. The ball rolls out of their corner past them. Flame to Cassio for goal three. Yeah, Fruity can't read the ball off the corner. Chassette doesn't read the bounce into the middle, and Cassio will eat it up. 2.07 on the clock. And Veloce, I feel like we've seen this story already in game number one, up by three with two minutes left to go. And no goals for reciprocity. Freaky can change oh. that, but Cassio gets in the way. The defense holds. And now looking for the counterattack. Flame actually makes a very solid contact onto the back. Here the pressure. Goal number four. It's in. Freaky with 154 left to go. Scores goal number four. And they beat Fair to the ball. Chassette doesn't go for the bounce. Just doesn't feel confident making the read, and Freaky, he's tracking the ball in front of him. Chassette reading the bounce over his shoulder. Much easier play for Freaky, and that is a massive goal. Veloce, you're cruising now. They are on course, just don't, no, as long as there's not a catastrophic failure, you will have game five and you will have the series. We spoke about it at the beginning. All of their wins coming in that first week doubleheader Prove that they're not just a one-day wonder there. They've got to yeah. get wins elsewhere. Their only loss coming to Vitality, kind of the expected loss from everybody this season. So the fact that they even got a win off of them, got a single game. This is a big solid. one. This, this is huge. This advances you to three and one. It gives Reciprocity their first loss. You'll have the head-to-head -head over them. Went all the way to game five. Won them overtime in game three. Reciprocity struggling to find any semblance of offense right now as there has just been an absolute wall in front of the Veloce goal. Final minute, Farah trying to dribble out. Cassio's got him beat over to the edge. Now shall set out distance both of his teammates. Flame keeps it up. Farah, his touch just goes straight to Cassio. Back down the flame, infield pass blocked by Shalset, but with 39 seconds left. Four goals, I believe, too much. For the boys in orange. Yeah. Tough break here for reciprocity. I mean, it, it, to me, a couple of bad touches put him in some tight spots. Veloce smelled weakness, capitalized. And Again. To top it all off, they're making a couple of great challenges oh, early on in the series. Flame almost able to turn in a fifth. Successfully punishing mistakes. A staple, a pillar of a good team, of a top caliber team. And Veloce found more mistakes to punish than reciprocity. As the clock winds down, they'll take the five game win. Veloce improves to three and one in league play, a top caliber team here in the European Rocket League series. Hats off to you, Veloce. This was a tough series. You had to battle and you absolutely deserve to come out on top here. Excellent series from Casio. Freaky and Flame, two big goal scorers yeah. all series long. All the assists there, seven shots. Freaky was able to put up the pressure and got himself a savior.